YouTubers. Uh, my name is Jennifer Webbles. I am the owner operator of Maelstrom Fiber Arts. I can be found at maelstromfiberarts.com and on Etsy. Uh, I also have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, not yet on Twitter. Twitter and me just, I don't know, I don't get it, but not on Twitter yet. Spinning just took a grip on me a little over a year ago and I've been doing it ever since. And I decided to, um, <laughs> I actually accumulated so much yarn that I had no choice but to open up a shop because I didn't know what to do with it all. And my husband's like, where are you gonna put all this yarn? What are you gonna do with it? So I decided to um, open up a store and it grew pretty exponentially over this past year. And thank you to everybody who visited my shop and gave me feedback. That was just phenomenal. Um, I really, really appreciate that. But um, it was it was a very successful season. And um, so this channel, I am going to be... I'm going to be doing a few things. I'm, I, I am going to be doing what was asked of me, which are the tutorials on spinning, um, carding fiber, uh, dyeing yarn. I'll do a few of those videos, although there's a lot of those out there, so I don't know how many of those I'll do. Um, I will show you my latest knitting projects that I am working on. And um, as far as my shop goes... I will probably give insights to running my shops, running an online shop, because I have two. And then, um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll clue you guys in on the latest sales that I have, if you're interested, and uh, the latest uh, products that I put out in my shop. So you'll be the first to see them and possibly get them. Um, one thing I do wanna cover Definitely, I am obsessed with the history of knitting with anything fiber related. I am obsessed with it. I constantly, constantly um, look up pictures and, and, and information on, you know, old, old time weavers and, and crocheters and knitters and spinners. And it, it's just fascinating to me, you know, this, this art form that that we that has evolved from our grandmothers and their grandmothers and you know since the beginning of time the early i i think in some museum somewhere in norway uh online i saw posted a picture of the oldest knitting i and i could be wrong maybe it's not the oldest but it but it was pretty old <laughs> one of the first um uh knit projects ever recovered from history and they did what was called now binding which was just with one needle but it wasn't like crochet it was a little different i haven't really explored now binding yet but anyway it it was fascinating and maybe i'll post a link to that or a clip to, uh so that you guys can check that out but um i will be doing history um history reports probably just a little snippet per video and I will show you the latest wheels that I have. Spinolution Mach 3. I'm a big Spinolution fan. And it is, in my opinion, the Cadillac of spinning wheels. That sucker, it, it is smooth as silk. I mean, it, it, it doesn't fight me. It, it makes spinning a complete joy. I mean, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, the only thing I'm a little perturbed about is um, after using it for so much, the, the, the little magnet on the, oh, what do you call this thing here? Let me grab it. This little bar, this little magnet here behind where the, uh, you know, this is the orifice and there's a little magnet where it snaps on to the wheel and my magnet fell out. So <laughs> I had to get a new one and I have yet to figure out how to uh, put it on because it's, um, didn't come with directions. So I'm going to have to contact somebody, but their customer support's fabulous. They're really great about, um, uh, helping you if you have a problem like that. So I highly recommend them. I do not 
I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really, really love their wheels. The other wheel that I have is more recent. I got a worker bee wheel, which I think I'm going to show you guys because honestly, they're... There aren't too many videos, like when I was looking at a second wheel, there were very few videos on the worker bee. And I'm not really sure why that is. Everybody has a king bee or the queen bee, which I guess they're just smaller, but kind of the same. But the worker bee is a little bit different. A little bit, well, it's just a little bit bigger, I guess. A little bit more bigger capacity. It's a bigger bobbin. I'm not really sure if the ratios are different. It kind of does work the same, but for me, I just wanted to see it to know the differences. And it's really cool. It's a travel wheel. It doesn't weigh very much. It's got handles on the side. You can fold it up and take it with you wherever you go. Um, let me let me turn this around so that I can show you. Okay, here she is. The beauty itself, the worker bee wheel, and that is my latest project that I am working on. Um, let me turn it around. This is my uh, newest um, fiber collection. Um, I am working on uh, their Rolex, uh that I'm spinning from. And if you go to my website, you can find them. There's two colors. There's this white with all these uh, beautiful, beautiful silk uh, gradients in it. There's some green and pink and burgundy and purple. And, and that's all intermixed with like this snowy white. I don't know if the video is really doing this justice. But it looks a whole lot better in real life than it does on camera right now. But anyway, in the... Red just turned out gorgeous. It's got little bits of uh, purple sari silk in it and little bits of uh, pink um, and red, scarlet red um, silk. So what I'm actually doing here, the way I'm spinning this, and I don't see too many people doing it this way. I'm not saying they don't, but um, maybe I just haven't seen them do it. But what I am going to show you in the next video or so is how I ply this. Because what I did was I spun all the red that I had and then I just connected and started spinning with the white. And what I'm going to do is when I'm finished, this bobbin will be full. And then I will cake it up and take both ends and spin it back on itself um, so that the two colors are twisted together. So I, I'm, I don't know if that makes sense, but it should make sense once I show you, um, hopefully. And here's my messy studio. <laughs> Very messy. I, I make use of wall space. Here's my TV where I watch Netflix while I work. There is um, more tools. There's my mad batter drum carter. That big bad boy. I love it. I absolutely love it. Not affiliated with them either. Just love it. Um, I, I'm not a hand crank kind of a girl. I know God, God bless them, the ones that have it, but I'm old and I can't see myself, you know, in a production business, hand cranking fiber. No, 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 no. That is not me. So I, I went for the big bad boy. I had them. I was lucky enough to have the money at the time, and I splurged on it, and I absolutely love it. So I will show you how I card on that as well in the future, and that's my Mach Three hiding over there with my other project that I'm working on, and I am drowning in fiber, but it's a wonderful problem to have. Um, okay, so this is my wheel. As you can see, let's see here. It's a bit different because from other traditional wheels. Spinolution, they're pretty pretty groovy because they, this guy is a major engineer that came up with this design. I, I could never have thought of it. But anyway, it's got two drive bands and there are specific ways that you adjust your tension 
um, and your uptake, your, your uptake. Um, before I, when I first got this wheel, I was just sort of playing around with it. I didn't really know what I was doing and it, I was just kind of moving drive bands here and there trying to figure out, uh, what, what worked best and I wasn't getting much of anywhere because that's what you get when you don't follow directions. And so I finally went to Spinolution's website and they have a very, very good pictorial of the different tension settings, um, the different ratio settings, uh, that is. And I found the right one or the one that I wanted to use. You know, it depends on what you're spinning. Um, and now I'm much, much, much happier spinning on it. It's got the golden whirl. You can see back here. Um, that's what makes these wheels so amazing. Um, is this golden whirl technology. You can read more about that on Spin Illusion's site. But so I won't go over that because a lot of people have gone over that. Uh, what I really, really loved, I think the dis one of the deciding factors was the built-in Lazy Kate. Which these here... The, that's where the rods go and you can put your bobbin and um, you know that way I, I, don't, I don't want anything on the floor anything separate you know by my feet or anything like that I just love the fact that it's all built in and ready to go and I don't have to buy anything extra it's just there so um, that is all I have to say about that Okay, there is a couple things that I do want to update on as far as my shop goes. I have, I am down to one skein each of the yarns that sold like crazy this past holiday. So, um, I will show you offhand what is there and what is new. So it is first come, first serve. Once they're gone, they're gone because I'm not making any more till next year. Unless, you know, somebody absolutely has to have it, then I'm a nice person, so I'll probably make it. But anyway, let me see here. This was my special holiday art yarn that I made this year. And it's got the lovely, lovely red locks intertwined. It's all spun in there, and I beaded it with these little bitty gold stars. And you can see the body of the yarn right through here. It's got a little bit of white on there. And what I was trying to do was mimic snow dusted pine cones, you know, just to kind of give it that wintry feeling. And I tell you, I made the first skein of this. I finished it one night and it was real late and I went to bed and the next morning, I woke up 5 a.m. It was gone. Somebody bought it. It was gone that fast. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll make a few more of these. <laughs> so I decided that was going to be my specialty line for this past holiday season. And it was. And it was real successful. And a lot of people bought it. So I'm down to one. I'm not sure how many yards this is. I, It's on the website. I made a few different ones. Um, I'm thinking it might be 100 yards or maybe a little more. I don't know. But you can find it on the website, maelstromfiberarts.com, or you can find me on Etsy at Maelstrom Fiber Arts. And it should be listed there under Art Yarns. On both sites, it's listed under Art Yarns. Also, under Art Yarns, I have leftover from fall. Um, this beautiful, beautiful, there's two different colorways. Um, one of them is a more golden color, which is this one. Um, it is for fall meant for weaving or, yeah, you can, you know, I mean, it's, it's super soft. I made this with these, these skeins were made with baby llama, which if any of you have had the pleasure of working with it, it is gorgeous fiber. It's super soft. 
and it's got some merino in there and then of course the mohair and the locks and the little bitty bits of angelina for sparkle i think i even put some faux cashmere in there uh to make it extra soft but um it's gorgeous it's got the same little stars on it that i just loved so i used those this year um on all my art yarns and uh, the locks are different and this you know the little the bed the body of the yarn um i kind of was going for like an indian corn kind of a look i don't know that's just kind of what it reminded me of and what i tried to get from it full this is the last one of this so the last bit of art yarn i have is this one a bit more colorful and this one's fall leaves and this is the last one of this and it's got all the different colors of the leaves like if you ever take a drive in the fall and you're just looking at colors when the leaves turn that's what this is meant to represent so this one sold pretty good too down to the last one again I apologize I'm not sure about the yardage because I made a couple of different ones and I'm not sure which one this is so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing um, <clears throat> I do have a new art yarn I just made that I am so proud of. I really, really love it. It's called Shield Maiden, and it's super, super gorgeous. Super gorgeous. It has got all these purple and gold and burgundy and brown and pink, and I mean, it's, it's just, the colors mesh together, little bits of red, the colors mesh together so well, and it's so gorgeous. It's made of llama, silk, super fine merino, and faux cashmere. It's got a little bit of Falkland wool in there that I threw in just because I wanted that particular color. And then, um, of course, it's gonna, you can't go wrong with Angelina, so I put some Angelina in there too. But anyway, I got one of these so far. Um, probably will be making more, haven't decided yet. I'm just going to kind of see how the um, reception is for this because I just put this up. So the other one, I'm working with Angora lately. So the other product in my shop is the Angora, the gorgeous, gorgeous Angora skein. Um, this is called an, um, Silky Twist. It's about 140 yards. It's 50% um angora pure straight angora yarn and 50 percent no it's not 50 percent it's 50 percent angora and it's about 20 percent silk and 30 percent merino so super soft super gorgeous i'm thinking this would be beautiful like for spring um something maybe even easter because of the color, but it's just a really beautiful, neutral, feminine, delicate uh, colorway that I think is just so, so pretty. Again, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. So those are that's what's new in the shop. Um, I do have some new accessories. I have the ever so popular row counter rings. Um, you name it, I got it. Uh, so check it out. And um, if you have any questions, just message me. I'm constantly, you know, I check my messages. If you have any questions or you want to hear more about uh, anything that I do or a particular subject in general, um, I will be happy to oblige. Just let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Thank you for being with me. Bye.